Hello everyone, this is Herotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation for the DS. Previously, we explored most of Arkbolt Castle and got past three of the guards, Bronson, Brick, and Brock. Now it's time to go check in with the king. Sounds like they have a monster problem in Wayfarer's Pass near the town. First, have a word with the king, will you? You heard the man. Let's chat with the king. Hey, Arot, we should speak to the king. He must be Arkbolt's chancellor. The name's Brutus. Remember it well. I'm a double hard commander in the Arkbolt army. This Brutus character is the one who was watching us earlier downstairs. I'd certainly feel better if he were on my side in a fight. I... I guessed that was Brutus. My husband is looking for a soldier. Not just any soldier, you understand, but someone even stronger than Brutus. It would be terribly convenient if that turned out to be you, but somehow I doubt it. Hey, we'll never know unless we try to beat him, I. Eh? We've come this far. I suppose a battle with Commander Brutus is inevitable. This Commander Brutus is no doubt much stronger than the soldiers downstairs. We mustn't let our guard down. Welcome, travelers. First, allow me to apologize for the rough treatment handed out to you by my soldiers. You see, I'm looking for someone strong, someone tough with real spirit. Why, you ask? To smash the foul beast that's made the wayfarers pass its nest. She's quite a large creature, but I thought that Brutus and his soldiers would be able to take care of her. Turns out I was quite wrong. The soldiers were wiped out, and Brutus came back heavily wounded. Now, as you've probably heard, Brutus is the strongest soldier in this land. That's why I've had to look beyond my borders, to see if I can find someone who can actually win this fight. I'd like you to travel to Wayfarer's Pass and put an end to that blasted beast once and for all. But first, I have one more battle for you. Are you willing to take the challenge? Absolutely, good king. Excellent. Then it's sorted. Your opponent will be Commander Brutus, of course. If you can't defeat him, then the battle with the monster is pointless. I couldn't in good conscience send someone off to battle knowing they had no chance at victory. All right, let's go. Now then, let us consider our strategy. Er, uh, let me think. I think we're ready. Why don't you start by telling me your name? Hey, Rot, is it? Right. I'll be waiting for you in the training room. It's in the southwest corner of the castle. I'd gladly take you on right now, but we can't be swinging swords around in here. Your Majesty, if you'd be so kind as to join us in the training room. Very well. Right, Heyrot, time to shove off to the training room. The training room was in the southwest of the castle, I believe. 
So at last we face the strongest foe Arkbolt can throw at us. But after we check upstairs... This is the royal bedroom. If you don't have any business here, and you don't, then you should leave. Normally, that'd make me want to peek in there all the more. But I'm too excited about our battle with Brutus to care. The king and his entourage are headed for the training room. We should be, too. Let's head to the training room without delay. After ransacking this room, of course. Hayrot carefully scans the titles of the book on the shelf. They seem to be arranged in no particular order. Hayrot decides to rearrange them in alphabetical order. No books of interest here. What luck! A silk robe! That we do not need anymore. How delightful! Hayrot gazes into the mirror. He suddenly wonders how Tanya is doing. Ah, Tanya. <laughs> now then, let's go to the training room in the southwest of the castle. The king should be in the training room in the southwest corner of the castle. I would have been completely lost without ga that guy. Southwest corner, right. It won't do to keep the king waiting. Let us hurry. <laughs> Here we are. Do you really want to go through with this? If you value your li if you value your limbs, you may want to reconsider. We didn't defeat Murdaugh by worrying about our limbs, did we? Hee <laughs> hee. Who will be victorious? Let us pray that we have the goddess on our side. Hardy har. We'll see who's got a full set of limbs after the fight. That we shall. Rest assured it will be a fair fight. I will be monitoring the contest from here. You do that, Chancellor. Let's fight wisely, Hayrot. Great news. All right, Hayrot. Let's move. I pray that the fight will be judged fairly. Do your best. It's been a while since I saw a battle worthy of the name. We certainly will do our best. Even the Queen's rooting for us, I... Now I'm really raring to go. Commander Brutus looks to be flexing his muscles in anticipation. Here we go. What's the matter? You're not getting cold feet, are you? I haven't got all day, so get over there and show me what you're made of. Cold feet? Mine are toasty. Sniff, sniff. Don't smell like toast, though. I've gathered my strength and am prepared for battle, Hayrot. That's good to know, Nevin. The king is waiting, Hayrot. Let's do this. Prepare to learn firsthand why they call me the Lightning Knight of Arkbolt. I don't intend to make a habit of losing. Are you ready? Yes, sir, Commander. Then let's do this. Prepare to feel my steel. Ahem. Let the battle begin. Now we fight Commander Brutus. Those get sapping. Doubling up. Cur buffing. And you defend, Nevan. Ah, uh, vacuum vortex, huh? Ow.
We'll try another sap. Some mid-heal from you, Millie. And the Staff of Ghent. It will be nice when Sap decides to stick. Ow. A flurry of blades, eh? Not as bad as the vacuum vortex. Ah, there we are. His defense has been decreased. Ah, Millie. More Kabuff, maybe? All right, Commander. More of this nonsense, eh? Ow. Would you knock that off, please? Hang in there, Millie. Well, that's not too bad in the scheme of things. Ow. Yes, you keep doing those single attacks, please. Single party member attacks. And Brutus is defeated. Sorry, Brutus. The contest is decided. The winner is... Hayrot. Wh what I've been beaten again? How can this be? Your Majesty, it seems as though I might have once again lost. Indeed. Hayrot, you have proven yourself to be a true soldier. You clearly have what it takes. You're darn right we do. Brutus, Thank you for your efforts. You may stand down. Sir. Herot, you've shown me that you have what it takes to finish off that monster in Wayfarer's Pass. I'd like you to head there right away, but first, I have something I'd like to give you. I'll be waiting for you in the throne room. So we need to pick up something before we head off to Wayfarer's Pass. Phew, Commander Brutus is tougher than your average thug. 
I admit I was concerned at times, but we managed to pull it off. Huzzah! We beat him! We beat Brutus! W wow You beat Brutus! I don't believe it! Both sides were in it to win. It was a good fight. Crikey! I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. That was a tough one. He seems to be genuinely stunned that we managed to defeat Commander Brutus. Now that vacuum vortex is a pretty nasty attack. First, see what the king has to say, will you? That a coffin behind you, sir. I sense that the chancellor would like uh, to speak to us later as well. Aye, the king first, then. Let us do as the chancellor suggests. My husband has a request for you. Please be so good as to listen to what he has to say. The Queen has a deeply admirable dignity. I am always impressed by the Queen's elegance. Hardy har! An order from the Queen, I. Ah, hey, Rot. I was impressed with your performance in that fight. Nice and merciless. I'm convinced that you've got what it takes to defeat the monsters that lurk in Wayfarer's Pass. Naturally, I have a reward ready for you, something that has been in this royal family for generations, the mighty Thunderbolt Blade. For you to receive your reward, I'll need proof that you've defeated the monster's leader. To that end, I'd like you to bring me her corpse. I've prepared a coffin that you can use to carry the body. Don't forget to grab it from my Chancellor before you leave. Now off you go. I'm relying on you, Hayrot. The Thunderbolt Blade, I. That ain't no useless knick-knack. I'm really raring to go now. I can sense the King's sincerity. We won't let him down, will we, Hayrot? The Thunderbolt Blade sounds like no ordinary sword. Indeed not. Here, take this coffin with you on your quest. Hayrot receives a large coffin. I believe I've already told you this, but another warrior has been sent to the pass. He's already left. We saw him, actually. I'm afraid we only have one reward. Naturally, it will go to the first person to present us with the monster's remains. Fair enough. I was expecting something special, but this looks like any other coffin to me. That coffin looks pretty heavy, I. Eh? Anyway, let's shove off. We're all set. Let's hurry to Wayfarer's Pass. Personally, I don't mind if you team up with that other warrior, if it helps you defeat the monster. Ah, good to know. Just make sure it's exterminated. I am counting on you. I'd be up for teaming up if he was. Either way, let's shove it off. Let us not disappoint the king. We don't have a moment to spare. Let's head off, Hayrot. Yes, we might as well head off to Madame Lucas. <laughs> Let's see what prophecy she has this time. The crystal showed you coming, Hayrot. Madame Luca is never out of the loop, yes? Ah, but of late, Luca has been seeing very bad things in her dreams. Let's call it a night, yes? We can speak more tomorrow. Well, this sounds a little ominous. Hello, Madame Luca. 
Shine under eyes, yes. Did you sleep well last night? You know it. Ha he, you youngsters are so full of spirit. But you must be careful. The crystal has revealed horrors to Madame Luca. People are dying in their sleep. Sometimes Luca sees a monster. Yes, one monster, lingering in the shadow of this illness. Hey, Rot, you must be on your guard. This monster and you shall meet someday. Madame Luca knows this. I'll drag this monster kicking and growling out of the shadows myself. We'd best bear Madame Luca's warning in mind as we go. The blood of the most holy warriors of Ghent flows through my veins. If there is a monster terrorizing the sleep of the innocent, I have no choice but to intervene. That's the spirit. Now back to Arkbolt. Pardon us while we zoom through your roof, Madame Luca. Then we might as well do a little hunting around Arkbolt. Is this coffin full of rocks or something? Well, at least I'm getting a workout. The Thunderbolt Blade. It has an impressive ring to it right enough. I pray we can get hold of it. Hmm. Commander Brutus was certainly a capable soldier. But it would seem that the monster in the cave is even tougher. And how about Ashlyn and Amos? What have they to say? So this fine horse goes by the name of Peggy Sue, does it? She's a horse and a half, I tell you. Indeed she is. Terry was dragging one of these coffins along all by himself, wasn't he? He's not that big of a guy. He must be solid muscle. Well, time for a bit of hunting. And we'll fill in the map as well. We have sniping barksmen and an animated armor. Edged boomerang. And an edged boomerang for you, Amos. Double up is so good. Goodbye, enemies. Nevin reaches the rank of Green Belt, and he learns Wind Sickles. Congrats on Green Belt, Nevin. Rank 3 in Martial Arts. And he now knows Wind Sickles. Next we encounter a group of sniping barksmen. Time to roast them. So long, sniping barksmen. Then we have Sniping Barksman and an animated armor. Let us deanimate that armor, shall we? Goodbye, foes. And Carver reaches level 21. Congrats on level 21, Carver. Now the hunt continues. 
Ah, a metal slime. Equip a battle axe. And maybe the poison moth knife. Bye-bye, Metal Slime. We'll get you next, Slime. Ah, oh, now we have some Argoils. says Ole. I'm not as concerned about that anymore. Goodbye, Argoyles. Some more sniping marksmen. Roast them alive. Goodbye, enemies. Next up, an animated armor and an argoyle. Goodbye, argoyle. And goodbye, animated armor. Carver reaches the rank of veteran. He learns double-edged slash. Also, Ashlyn reaches the rank of cleric and learns fizzle and buff. Congrats, Carver. Rank 4 in Warrior. With double-edged slash, and Ashlyn is now rank 3 in Priest. with Fizzle and Buff. I think I checked you out, Nevin. Yep, one sickles. Very good. A couple more Argoyles. Nice try. So long farewell. Ah, uh, Amos reaches the rank of Pilferer. And he learns Stone's Throw. Congrats, Amos. Rank 3 in Thief. He now knows Stone's Throw. Now back into the castle. And we'll rest up. In the next episode, we'll head north to investigate the Wayfarer's Pass. This is Heirotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.